Hey, what's up guys? I'm just going to do a quick update on my toolbox. Um, a little quick tour of the toolbox, what I've gotten since I started uh, my diesel mechanic career here. I'm about a year and a couple months in. Um, I'm about to start my third shop that I've been to, third fleet shop. Um, I was at one place for three months, another place for 10 months, and now I'm going to another fleet shop for uh, hopefully a lot longer, but we'll see. Um, each time I progressed in pay. So um, you want to make more money out there, you got to earn more skills, show your worth, and if they don't give it to you, go somewhere who's going to pay it because there's always somebody else who will. Um, a lot of these companies are lowballing us, to be completely honest. Um, we're not being paid enough. We need to demand more. But you got to know more. So learn skills, jump jobs if you have to, get, get what you're owed. Anyway, this is the uh, tool cart review. So let's just start up here real quick. By the way, this is a uh, U.S. General. Same, same cutter as before. If you haven't seen the other one, this is U.S. General full bank. Uh, six drawer, one, two, three, four, five, six, I believe, yeah. Um, anyway, this is the uh, the lid here. Uh, Harbor Freight Magnets, uh, Icon Picks. These are pretty handy. Um, this is in Lyle Tools uh, valve, or for tires, a uh, valve stem. Pulling it out there. There's a little swivel here, um, so it rides in your palm nicely. Super nice. I like this. I use it all the time. Um, great little tool. Um, Harbor Freight Stubbies. Uh, this is a little Craftsman screwdriver I found sitting there. Uh, sitting somewhere on the floor. Uh, there's some gear wrench hose picks, um, some Klein tools, uh, screwdrivers, Stanley screwdriver, uh, you know, panel clips here, uh, mirrors, uh, things. Here's a Ken tools for going deep into the dually tires to get uh, valve stems out and uh, the, the tire caps. Um, I did break the ears off the one end because he just it's naturally, it's bigger and it's easier to over torque and I did break it, but it still works. So I'm keeping it. Um, I found this on a truck. This is a name brand tools. I guess you call it truck tools, tool truck, um, Mac tools, magnet, found that on a truck. Um, if you ever find something like that, ask around first. Don't ask, Hey, did you lose a Mac tools thing? Just say, Hey, did you lose a magnet or something like that? To say, yeah, have them describe it because <laughs> they're going to say, yeah, just to get the free stuff. But, um, I found that and made sure it wasn't anybody else's. So somebody left it on the truck at another shop or whatever, and uh, it's in my toolbox now. But I've done that with my tools as well. I've left stuff somewhere, so it's just kind of the nature of the beast. It's the uh, way this career goes. If you're new to it, you'll find that out. Anyway, that's yeah, basic stuff up there. Pretty basic. Um, down here, let's just look at lights real quick. Um, this is the light I'm using right now just to get, get you guys a better view. The Cyclops lights here are freaking awesome man i highly recommend it maxion um i think i'm just going to get a bunch of these anytime i need a new light i'll replace it with one of these these things are super nice super strong magnet i highly recommend it um and then i got this light i found this on a uh underneath the truck as well harbor freight pretty nice battery's a little little uh weak on it uh icon light super bright kind of a short battery life but not too bad but it's nice it's really heavy it's beefy and uh it is super bright but it did burn the, its own lens like it did that on its own got too hot um so i don't know if i'd buy it again but it's a nice light it's still a little big um if, if it dies or i lose it i'm just gonna replace it with that maxion anyway um icon light uh nice i wish it would swivel all the way around um because that's where the big light is see that so i don't know if i'd buy it again but it's it's nice it's not super expensive uh it's bright so not bad uh let's just go over here this brighter light so over here i have a gear wrench extendable uh pry bar super handy for like uh, pushing in brake pedals and stuff if you don't have someone else around you can jam it between the seat and use this like a foot almost and, uh, you know, check part brakes or for uh, air leaks, things like that. A long screwdriver. I don't know if I'm going to use that. It's a long flathead from Cobalt, I think. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep that. I don't use it too much, but it does come in handy. Uh, Dominator pry bars. Highly recommend. Um, just stay off the tool truck. You can buy these on Amazon. And that's the theme of my toolbox tour today, guys. 
do not need to go onto the tool truck. If you're new to this industry, you're going to be a diesel mechanic or you're, you're, you're going to school, whatever, just stay off the tool truck for now. You do not need to go on there. You'll save so much money and spend it on stuff you need. Um, you can save that money for your family, whatever. Times are tough right now. You don't need to spend $300 on a ratchet. Okay, so at least right now. Not right now. Uh, Dominator pry bars. That's a really long one. Uh, and you know, they progress smaller. Um, I did get, where is it? This, this one here. This flat one didn't come with the set that I bought, but... Uh, super handy to have that flat one there, changing brakes or uh, drum brakes and stuff. Curve and some nice little small ones handy too. Um, but yeah, those are nice, nice kits. I have these Sonex brand uh, ladies' foot or heel bar, whatever you want to call them. They're great for pulling out wheel seals. Um, I use the small one almost always for like punching holes in uh, oil filters sometimes. Um, so those are nice. Sonex, again, cheap, not super expensive. You can get it on Amazon. Uh, Stream Light Light here, I forgot to mention. The Enduro Pro, super nice to have in tight spaces when you can't put a magnetic light up to anything. Some of these truck cabs don't have any metal on them anymore, so these magnetic lights are, like, useless to hang above you because there's nothing to stick them to. So uh, get one of these. They're super handy. Here's the stuff I keep in my pockets all day. This little Lyle Tools pry bar is freaking awesome. It has a little striker on it. Uh, it's not made in America, but it is only 10 bucks, and it's super nice. I have no complaints so far. Um, highly recommend that. I use it a lot. Sharpie. Here's a Streamlight flashlight I use all the time. It's my daily flashlight. Um, rechargeable Streamlight stylus. Highly recommend that. Very nice flashlight. When that dies or I need to charge it, I just use this cheap Arbor Freight one um, until my Streamlight's charged. Again, saving money. Because this is, uh, the stream light was a little expensive for a flashlight, I guess, but it's not too bad. Um, there's this really cheap Harbor Freight light. Um, this sucks. I wouldn't buy it again, but I keep it in here because it has a UV light on it. I can use that for looking for dyes sometimes. Um, keep notes, notepad, glasses, uh, torque, or I'm sorry, uh, air pressure stick here. Checking tire pressure. Uh, three quarter deep for caging bolts. Uh, brake spring, cage bolts. I keep my most common sockets up here, the big common sockets, and my uh, wobbles, half inch, three quarter. Um, and then I have uh, adapters here and stuff too. So uh, mostly all the sockets here are going to be Tekton, um, gear wrench maybe, or uh, Icon, uh, Centro Pneumatic. Is it Centro or is it Astro? Astro, sorry, Astro pneumatic uh, sockets right there. Um, the cheaper, if you want to call it cheaper sockets. Here's some Harbor Freight sockets I just got right here, actually. Um, just to kind of round off my selection here. I didn't have any half inch standard. So uh, anyway, uh, Harbor Freight sockets. I got, you know, half inch and three quarter up here, or uh, three eighths up here, uh, deep and shallow want to call them shallow um let's see these torques here i would stay away from tecton torques they kind of suck i've broken a bunch of them um the icon ones are great i haven't broken any of those yet i haven't over torqued them either but um, i use this one a lot and it's just wearing nicely uh so the tectons are good i'm sorry the uh icon torques are good but the tectons are not very good anyway uh we're here to breaker bars um, I got this long 36 inch Capri tools off Amazon. I don't know about it. It bends a lot. I'm not sure I'm going to keep it. I might actually get something nicer. In that instance, I might go to the tool truck, but I haven't stepped on the tool truck yet. So, um, this is a Tecton breaker bar, uh, smaller breaker bar. Here's a, uh, this is gear wrench. Um, you know, a swivel head here and it locks. It's like a 20 inch or something, 24, 16, I forget. It's extended, it's good for uh, oil pams, PMs, uh, you know, if you need to reach something. It's nice, It's it feels good. A little on the cheaper side, like I said, but it feels good. It hasn't brown broken it yet. This is recent, recent purchase, probably my latest purchase. It's a Williams half inch. Um, it feels really nice in the hand. It's nice and heavy. Um, if you're looking for heavy, and it is made in the USA, so um, I'm pretty sure Snap-on, uh, it's just a rebranded Snap-on, 
for the most part. The internals might be a little different than Snap-on, but again, you're getting tool truck like quality for half the price. That's the goal here when you're starting out. Um, here's Icon, Icon Ratchet, um, a little bit smaller. Uh, this is my daily right here. I use this one a lot. I use this one the most. Um, I don't know, I really like it. The Icon Ratchets are nice. I like them. Use them daily. Not bad. Here's a longer version of it. Um, for the 3 8 uh, I've attacked in 3 8 which isn't that great. I'll probably get rid of it soon. Put it in my home toolbox. Um, and then I have a gear inch. Gear inch, quarter inch. Um, not bad. I like it. It feels nice for a quarter inch. You're not doing much torquing on that. So I don't see the reason on spending super amounts of money on a torque on a quarter inch. I just don't. I have a spare quarter inch here is DeWalt. Um, it's just thinner, so I keep it in case I need to get in tight spaces. This little palm ratchet thing is freaking awesome from Gear Wrench. I got this all in the kit, by the way. Uh, this, this, uh, the ratchet, the palm ratchet, um, all of these, not with the holder that came in a case. The holders are the uh, socket rails here are uh, Tecton, I think. Um, I got all those, and I got all this in, in a, in a, and a gear wrench kit. So definitely don't spend a bunch of money on quarter inch. You're gonna need it though. Um, just cause you're a, in diesel tech does not mean uh, you're not gonna be using smaller stuff like this. Um, you're gonna be using smaller stuff for dash work and all that. So it's unfortunate you gotta buy everything from small to very big, but that's just the life of diesel tech. So make sure you got that in mind. Anyway, I also have a trauma kit up here. This is for massive bleeding, like uh, tourniquet gloves duct tape for chest chest wounds um know how to use that stuff too guys i know it's kind of off topic a little bit but um i keep that there in case i need it <clears throat> so uh, i got some other little tools here little brake tech tools for measuring brake drums you just slide this basically um in between the pads of the brake shoe on brake drums and it'll give you a 30 seconds gauge it's brake tech tools They're like 30 dollars really expensive for this and the etching up here is not really very good it's not even etched it's actually painted on it's coming off whatever it is it's coming off um so it's cool but it's kind of i wish i spent more time on the uh, etching or actually etched it milton tools tire gauge get a good tire gauge you're going to use a lot of them or if you lose them maybe don't get a good one i don't know that's up to you i get a good one i've had this since i started um, I just keep another roller in there for measuring brake strokes. So, uh, again, quarter inch stuff. That's all my sockets. It's not nothing, no snap on, no Matco, none of that really expensive stuff. It's all, uh, you know, stuff you can get on Amazon or Harbor Freight, and it does extremely well. I've never, bro never broken a socket, not once. So, we'll see. I'm sure that'll change, but we'll see. Anyway, second drawer is a little bit less used sockets. Um, extensions, again, tacked in. Sun X CC um, gear inch sockets here, quarter inch. Uh, I got 12 points here, mostly just for a drive shaft. That's really the only thing I use it for is drive shaft bolts. This Mayhew set of uh, torque, torque sockets here or torques. Um, super cool. I like them. They're USA made. It says right on there, you can see the USA. The only thing that sucks is they're kind of tall. So if you get in a small spot, um, you just don't have the space. They're kind of tall. So you have a couple of quarter inch here on this side and then three eighths on this side. But it goes all the way from, uh, you know, T10 or whatever to T60. So super nice. USA made. Highly recommend that. Comes in a nice rail. Um, wobble sockets from Sunex. More Tecton. Like I said, these I'd stay away from the Tecton Torx. Icon Torx are good. And I keep some chromes. Most of my stuff you'll see is all uh, impact. You don't really need... The chromes, I keep some just because sometimes it's hard to get into a space. They're thinner walls on these, um, so they come in handy sometimes. Um, Allen key or hex, uh, hex sockets, they come in handy for sure. Um, I'll probably get a better set of those eventually, though. These are a little tall. Um, I do have a shorter set I'll get to. Miscellaneous stuff, you know, Allen keys. These are also made in the USA, by the way. Got all off Amazon, probably less than $80, I guess, probably $50, I don't remember, but no more than $100, bucks. and if you went on the Snap-on truck, I bet you they're pretty expensive, so I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I just, I, you can find made in USA quality stuff on Amazon, you don't need to go to a tool truck, that's my, that's my theme here, uh, I just keep kind of random stuff up here, charger cables, batteries, you know, 
lotion, stuff like that, gum, whatever. Uh, caging bolts, keep a couple up here just in case I need them. I got some uh, shear adapters for uh, Bendix disc brakes, disc brakes in general. These are little tools I made for uh, doing airbags. Um, you can just plug the airline in here so the truck doesn't sag on you. Um, then you have a bunch of space, you can just pull out the, uh, the airbag without having to remove a bunch of stuff or whatever. It just, it just plugs up the airline, that's all it is, it's just a plug. Uh, plastic removers here, or, uh, you know, pry bars, whatever you want to call them, scrapers. Great for dash work. You can do a lot of dash work, man. Diesel, diesel work's not just, uh, pulling heavy, big, greasy stuff from in the trucks. It is, but you're also in the dash. Like, uh, you know, getting dog hair and chill over you. So, you gotta, you're gonna work on small stuff sometimes, too. That's just the nature of it. Some adapters and stuff in there, too tape measure you know uh, i'm gonna replace this so uh, these are super handy but they're they are cheaper and they do round off and they're just not as good it's like a cobalt set or something so i'm gonna spend a little bit more money on those uh the screwdriver tips and all that and get a better set that's the gist of that drawer i'm gonna kind of speed up a little bit here so this video is not super long my wrench drawer so the really big wrenches i don't use too much in my uh, industry, I should call it. If, you, if you're in heavy equipment, you're going to be using the bigger wrenches on like hydraulic lines and stuff, but semis, I haven't had a huge need for it. But anyway, um, this is all Tecton, 100% all Tecton. They're fine wrenches in my opinion. I got everything from quarter inch all the way up to, uh, I don't know, uh, one and one eighth, I think, one and a quarter on this side. Um, I might have some more in the kit. I don't know how much it went up to, but you get a whole kit. They don't skip any sizes and they're not that expensive. You're not going to spend a thousand dollars on ratchets like you would on the truck. Anyway, those are nice. Uh, it's all tacked in standard. Um, and the other standard wrenches I have right here are Icon ratcheting flex head here. Super handy. They're nice. Um, they're, I think they're quality ratchets. Honestly, I use them pretty often. Um, haven't had any issues, no complaints, and they're not super expensive, but they are quality. I like them so far. Um, let me go to some of my metric wrenches. These are like a longer style icon wrenches, um, but these are cool because they have the uh, the switch on them, reversible switch. So if you get into a tight space, you're not screwed if you back the bolt all the way up, and uh, then you got to cut something to get it out. Um, but... I like them. They're nice. By the way, I keep all my wrenches in like old springs. See the old springs here? I just cut them and stretch them out a little and then just stick the wrenches in there so they sit upright like that. And um, just makes space so much better. You know, I, I, I'm limited on space here and I don't want to spend a lot of money on a toolbox just yet. So I'm rocking this little or smaller toolbox, but you got to save space. And this is a cool way to do it right here. Uh, it's a little annoying. Can't quite see the... You know, I wish they were slanted more. I could probably pull them out and bend these more and slant it more. But anyway, I digress. Uh, metric, anyway. Uh, yeah, metric gear wrench. Gear wrench over here. Um, these are not reversible heads. They're uh, just ratcheting and flex head. But they're nice. I use them often. Um, and then Tecton again for the big wrenches. Except this 24 millimeter is a gear wrench uh, ratcheting. Because it's uh, super handy on... Uh, you're going to lose 24 millimeter a lot in trucking, uh, but it's super handy with brake chamber, mounting bolts, super handy. Um, so let's just go up here. I got crow's foot wrenches from Craftsman. Don't use them too much, but they are handy. Uh, again, they're cheap. These are really cheap, and then I mean cheap, like they came like bent already. I'm not a big fan, but I'd never use these. I only use one wrench, and I use it occasionally on like trailer disc brakes to get to the adjusting screw. Um, but they're they're just cheap Harbor Freight, whatever, Pittsburgh or whatever. Um, I don't recommend them, but if you don't use it much and you kind of need them once in a while, I'm not going to spend $150 on these. I'm just going to spend $20, $30, and if I need a new, new one or break it, I'll buy it. You know, I'll buy a nicer set. Uh, here's a wrench extender, I believe they call it. Uh, this is another Amazon. Uh, you just put your half-inch ratchet in there, and then you can take this, like that, twist it on to your, your wrench or your adjustable or whatever, and then you can add a nice long ratchet here and uh, give you leverage to break stuff free. Also use that a lot on brake chamber bolts because they're pretty stuck up here in Pennsylvania with the rust.
Here's an old J.H. Williams. Has a little play in the in the teeth or the uh, the jaws, but um, it still works fine. I got it on Facebook Marketplace like five bucks. Uh, again, Facebook Marketplace. I think I got it with this. Um, came out to like five dollars a piece or something. This is old Don Malloy. Um, you can tell it's pretty old. <laughs> Horseshoe Company, Minnesota. Shout out to them because that's still pretty tight jaws and these are old. But anyway, like you can get this stuff on Facebook, man. Cheap, cheap, and it's a perfectly good wrench. Uh, here's a Klein Tools. This is actually my grandfather's. Um, I keep it in here. It still has good life in it and it works great. Made in USA, made in USA, made in USA, man. Um, and it was all cheap. Stayed off the tool truck. There's your theme again. And once again, staying off the tool truck. This is a Baco. Uh, Amazon, I think it was 50 bucks, maybe. I wish I would have got more of these, honestly. Uh, they're not made in America. I think they're made in Spain. Uh, but I think Snap-on, I'm pretty sure Snap-on rebrands this. They just put Snap-on here. They change the grip, and they make them chrome. That's it, and you're paying twice as much for it. So I go to Amazon and get this for half the price of a Snap-on. It's basically a Snap-on ratchet. It's the same thing. This is what I'm talking about. Stay off the tool trucks. You don't need them for most of the stuff. Just stay off. There's some things, like I said... You might want to go to the tool truck for, but most of this stuff, you don't need a tool truck, especially starting out. So that's the wrenches. Power tools. Uh, let's just start down here. I use this a lot, Milwaukee Fuel 3 Ace. Um, that's just such an awesome ratchet. It's pretty powerful, but the teeth do wear out quickly. I've already went through... Uh, I have another one of these that's not the brushless version. That's like the lower end model. Um... I already sent that when they get rebuilt. So ratcheting, just be careful. Break stuff free with your hand first and then use this. Don't destroy your ratchets. Uh, extra batteries. Um, these Chief Air Tools are awesome. I don't have any complaints. They work great when you need them to. You get a 90 in a straight. I use one to clean batteries and stuff like that. And the other one for cutting. Uh, here's a chuck just to adapt the size into a half inch hose. It's nothing special. This is for airing up trucks without turning them on. Just plug this into the air hose, and this end here is a uh, coupler. It goes right into the air line of the truck. You can air the truck up without running it inside, which is key. You don't want to breathe that shit in all day. So uh, an extra air chuck. I get an air gun there. It's cheap. You don't need anything expensive. I saw Snap-on was selling their, like, Venturi tip or something for $90. You don't need that. Um, probably nice to have, but you don't need it. You can just buy a cheap, cheap one. It just blows air, guys. Come on. Uh, that's for taking off decals. It's like an eraser wheel. Take the decal right off a truck without destroying the paint. Super awesome. Just chuck it into your drill. Uh, I got drill bits. Think nothing special. You know, uh, different size and shape and security bits and all that stuff for this one. And then they're extra deep. It's kind of cheap, but it, it works. Gets you, gets you by. Uh, extractors in here. Um, these styles are awesome. I think they're Irwin, Hanson Irwin, something like that. You just hammer them in, turn out the bolt or the broken stud or whatever it is. Uh, I got the bolt biters in here. Gear wrench bolt biters. These are awesome. Pretty cool. I might buy a bigger set soon. Um, we'll see. I got more extractors in there too, like Rabbit Pro and uh, uh, what's the other one called? Speed Out. So they're decent. <clears throat> Again, I got picks. I actually have, I'm sorry, not picks. I have punches and chisels in there, too. It's all Mayhew. Uh, I like this big one here. The Mayhews are awesome. Made in the USA. Good stuff. Can't can't beat that, and it's cheap. Uh, Milwaukee. I drink the red Kool-Aid. Drinking the red Kool-Aid, fellas. I use this one every day as well. Make sure you get the high output battery. It changes the life of this tool, man. It really rips stuff off, you know, 3-8 stuff pretty well with that battery. Again, you guys saw this one. It's great. I use these two almost every day where, where I was at. Uh, the 2767 half inch with the right battery, with the high output battery, this thing rips off truck lug nuts pretty freaking easily. You don't even need to haul around that one inch gun. You can just grab this and rip them off. It has struggled with some trailer uh, lug nuts, but you know, it is what it is. Um, <clears throat> uh, and a drill. Yeah. All right. Pliers. These is plier drawer. I got hose clamp pliers, lang tools, you know, um, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, these are hose clamp pliers here. I don't know where they're from, but these lang tools are for like coolant lines and airlines and stuff. Super handy. Made in the USA. 
like tools. It's like, I don't know, I spent maybe $30 on both of those. Don't go to the tool truck. You're going to overpay for Blue Point, which is just rebranded length tools. Anyway, I keep getting past that point. <clears throat> um, this is uh, Klein Tools, actually. These here are Klein Tools. Um, actually, super nice. Uh, made in the USA again and not as expensive. Uh, but I did, as you can see, damage these. That's operator error. Don't cut sharp or heavy stuff with that. Just use it for... Uh, you know, rubbers and stuff and that. Not not metal, okay? Uh, crimpers from Doyle. These are sweet. They're just Klein version, basically, uh, copies. But they work just fine and they're half the price. So I think I'm just going to get the Kleins eventually because they're made in USA and I can put these at home and switch out the Kleins anyway. Uh, Nipex. Nipex is a must if you own pliers. Nipex, they're not super expensive. And they're the best you can buy. And all the tool trucks usually rebrand them. So just buy Nipex from Amazon. Save money and they're awesome. You don't need anything else other than Nipex. They're super nice. Um, Icon. These are copies of Snap-on. Um, they're a little sloppy, but they're awesome. At the same time, like for the price or what you're getting for what you're paying for, I don't think you can beat the price point on this. Um, you gotta check these out for sure if you're looking for pliers. These are awesome. Um, not quite as nice as the snap-ons. I have handled the snap-ons before. They do feel a little better. But these are, you just can't be in for the money. I don't think I'll ever, unless I break them, I'm never going to buy the snap-on version of it. Um, Nipex cutters, use these daily. Super awesome. Zip ties, pulling stuff out of tires, whatever. Um, cheap Harbor Freight stuff that works just fine, by the way. Here's some Nipex. These are nice. Pulling out, uh, screens and S-bar heaters. Those are sweet. Uh, Klein Tools again. Again, made in the USA. Good stuff. Wire strippers. This is Carlisle. These are really nice. These Carlisle Snap-on copies. Um, again, they're not as nice as the Snap-on. You might just want to buy the Snap-ons in this case and be done with it, but those are nice and they get you by and they're only like 30 bucks. Uh, another wire stripper from Harbor Freight. Not bad. Good for tight spaces. Estwig Hammer from Lowe's. Uh, made in America. Estwick Hammer, Made in America. Tecton Hammer, Made in America. So, again, you can stay off the tool truck. Uh, Vice Grips. Name brand, Irwin Vice Grips. Pittsburgh is pretty shitty. I wouldn't buy those again, but they're they're worth it. I mean, I guess they're really cheap, so they're worth it. Throw away if they suck, just toss them. Vice Grip, Milwaukee. Milwaukee Vice Grips, good. Look at this, Mac Tools. I uh, got it at a thrift store. So, like, any name brand stuff you see, I got at thrift stores or Facebook. Uh, long pliers, you know, uh, snap ring pliers. I haven't used these yet, these hose hose pliers, but long. Um, I got them and haven't used them once. So, yeah, maybe I'll sell them or maybe I'll just keep them. As soon as I sell them, I'll need them. Anyway, uh, here's another drawer. Electrical and... Uh, PMs basically. Uh, Fluke 115 uh, T pins at a sewing for sewing basically. Just use them as back probes. Uh, seven way tester, super handy. Use that every day. Get one of those. Uh, test light, test infuses, easy stuff. Super nice. Get the one with the uh, bulb. Don't get an LED. It's not really worth the LEDs. Don't really tell you what they're supposed to. Um, they work as multimeters, but the LEDs one, the LED ones don't quite show you voltage drop in the light, so it's kind of rough. Anyway, it's not that bad because you can get whatever. I just prefer the, the bulb for test light. Uh, power probe, this thing's awesome. Um, I got the um, heat shrink little connector here. It goes around the end, super nice. Uh, this thing's great. I I would recommend that for sure. You know, don't even spend money on anything else. Just get this one. Power probe, Amazon, it's like, I don't know, $60, $80, I forget. Less than 100 probably. Um, here's a temp gun, Harbor Freight. Gets you a roundabout temperature. It's all you need. Checking HVAC stuff for whatever you're doing. Um, and a bunch of uh, swivel grip. So that's Lyle Tools again. Made in the USA from what I understand. That might not be made in the USA, but we'll see. Lyle Tools again. Uh, gear wrench, I think. And this is a uh, right, right fit. Uh, it's an Amazon buy. I actually don't recommend these. And they do bend, as you can see. That's bent. They do get the job done, though. I'll admit that for the price, it's pretty hard to beat. Maybe we'd just go with the Blue Point. But I think the Blue Point is just a rebranded 
Lang tools or uh, rebranded Lyle, Lyle tools, sorry. So make sure you're aware of that. Strap wrench from Gear Wrench. Um, don't go to the tool truck, just buy this off Amazon. It's the uh, Astro Pneumatic. Uh, it's it's professional quality. You don't need it. You don't need to go buy the Matco one or the Snap on one. Just get this. It's like 80 bucks, uh, but it's worth it. And I got this uh, pry bar basically for changing uh, drum brakes to get there and get the spring out. Uh, it's Brake Tech Tools made in the USA. So that was like 80 bucks. You don't really need this, but I got it. It just makes life easier. Uh, we got some brake changing or backing brakes off and various uh, adapters and stuff for removing brakes, backing brakes off, adjusting them. Here's the random stuff, um, sockets I don't use too much. Um, this is for pulling wiper blades uh, when they get stuck on the wiper blade arms, rather. Uh, free, free draw port for whatever, another post or uh, air pressure stick. Sonex, this is a Sonex um, hex, yeah, hex drive, or hex socket, sorry, three three eighths. Uh, metric and standard very nice kit actually so again let's keep that down there when i need it um this year i'm not even going to open it it's uh oxygen sensors from harbor freight that's all it is oxygen sensors it's coming handy for knock sensors and stuff like that got a milwaukee grinder super handy got extended test leads you need them occasionally um this is for taking the uh the caps off the truck drivers put on there without damaging them they got some dabco full fuel wrenchers wrenches uh, keep my notes back there, you know, my torch, and uh, there's a long Sunex, a long Sunex bar comes in handy. Long extensions, stuff I don't need too much, a little file. Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. So you do not need to go onto the tool truck. You can just, you know, get by and even thrive with the stuff that's not from a tool truck i mean amazon ebay facebook marketplace all those places you can get good stuff and if you really want to just get the snap on stuff secondhand and save yourself some money so that's about it thanks for watching and uh maybe i'll update when after i uh finish this next job so basically that's it um hopefully uh you guys enjoyed the video it's not too long i tried to get as much as I could in there. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. And uh, good luck out there.